For Memorial Day, the Nevada Department of Veterans Services held a special ceremony to remember our country's fallen heroes. Reporter Alicia Patillo joins us live from Boulder City, where many came to pay their respects to the men and women who made the ultimate sacrifice in service of our country. Alicia. Hello, Dave. That is right. As you can see behind me, many families are still here. Many have decorated their loved one's gravesite with flowers, balloons and more. It was a bittersweet day here at the Southern Nevada Veterans Memorial Cemetery as officials, veterans and fellow Nevadans gathered to reflect on those lost. When the flag blows, it's not the wind doing it. It's the breath of the last veterans. The red, white, and blue proudly decorate the tens of thousands of graves at the Southern Nevada Veterans Memorial Cemetery in Boulder City. The Nevada Department of Veterans Services remembering those who gave everything so that Americans can be free to have anything. God bless America, land that I love. Nevada Governor Steve Sisolak addressing the crowd as keynote speaker. Today we honor and pay tribute to those who sacrifice everything for service and duty to our country. I want to recognize the family and friends of our fallen service members. Outside the ceremony, we found this Henderson family gathered around the gravesite of a beloved husband, father, and Army veteran. My family and I are here today uh, honoring my uh, father-in-law, who served in World War II under George Patton and uh, and saw a lot of action in Europe. While honoring the life of U.S. Army Private First Class James S. Price, his daughter, Carol, reflects on the man he was. Oh, I'm starting to cry. <laughs> Sorry. He was such an, a wonderful example of a man. The, he honored our mother and he treasured his children. While it doesn't get any easier to bear the loss of Price and his wife Betty, coming here, sitting by her parents' gravesite, gives her comfort. When he left and then Mama left a few years later, that they just left a hole in our hearts. You know, and that's why we're here having, going to have lunch with them. <laughs> we truly love them. Well, on behalf of Channel 13, we would like to thank all of our veterans from all across the world and especially right here in our valley for their service and their sacrifice. In Boulder City, I'm Alicia Patillo reporting.